Bruce Arians is confident waking up. Um, so I can only imagine him feeling confident getting Tom Brady, what that must look like and feel like for him. Uh, what do you mean by the Bucs are confident? Talk to me, sir. The Bucs have been confident all day. And anytime you reach out to anyone in the organization, it's almost rich like they didn't want to jinx it. They didn't want to say anything knowing that Brady wanted to be the one to announce his own news. Meanwhile, as Jim Trotter really, honestly, first blowing the lid off this thing, saying that the Chargers were out of the running, there, were, there was only one other team that was seriously in the mix for Tom Brady, and it was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Despite them trying really to deflect all day, they felt internally very, very good that they were getting Brady. And it certainly seems like their offer was strong, about $30 million per year, more than he made, obviously, with the Patriots. They were always in the 20s. And look, everyone's waiting for Brady to make the official announcement. That even, and Tom Pelissero has mentioned the Bucks are in the driver's seat. No one will really say it because it seems they want Brady to say it. But it looks like Tom Brady is going to land in Tampa Bay. Bruce Arians said it at the Combine. Sure, they'd make a phone call to Tom Brady. He didn't care. Uh, even if it's technically tampering, Bruce Arians lives by different rules. And now it seems like his rules are going to include having Tom Brady as his quarterback. I would, I, I, that would be fun to see. I mean, Brady in an Arian system with Leftwich and Godwin and Evans, and uh, obviously they, they add more weapons and what that might mean. Uh, the, 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 and, and, by the way, uh, the Super Bowl's in Tampa next year. I mean, let's just lay it all out there on the line. If this happens for Tampa, uh, it would be just monumental, just monumental. And all of us for fans to see Brady and Breeze play twice a year. My gosh, in the same division, that would really be something. So Ian Rappaport, he says the Buccaneers are the only known team to make an offer for Tom Brady. Charlie Cassidy is taking something uh, totally out of the Charlie Weiss playbook, <laughs> or he's just uh, had a bowl of Lucky Charms. I, I'm not, I'm not uh, fully familiar <laughs> of it. Uh, but uh, while while it's a St. Patrick's Day moment for 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 Charlie, DJ, you're first. Um, Makes sense to fit. What are your thoughts if this does? I mean, all signs are now pointing to this right now. Yeah, first of all, hats off to Jason Light, the well, general well. manager, who spent time in that New England organization mm -hmm. and knows Tom Brady and, and knows what he will bring. Obviously, we all see what he does on the field, but what he will bring into that building, as you heard Charlie Weiss talk about a little bit earlier. So I, I do think it was a good fit either in Tampa or with the Chargers. They both have outstanding skill position players. Um, I think the proximity to family seems to be the tiebreaker there of why he will go to Tampa. But when I look at the Chargers going forward, I'm anxious to see what they do because right now it looks like everything pointing towards the draft. I don't know there's another free agent out there they feel better about than what they have in Tyrod Taylor. Um, so I would imagine you'll see the Chargers next starting quarterback long term wise uh, would come with that sixth overall pick unless they were to trade up and, and try and get somebody a little bit higher. Charlie. Well, my boy, here, Richard, here's what we're going to say here. See, I got two accents, the one at Indy and the one at here. Oh, boy. Hey, here's the thing. Mahomes, Mahomes isn't in the division. You got to go beat Breeze. Last year, this team won seven games with a quarterback that threw 30 interceptions. When you watch the New England tape, what is really evident is who's he throwing to. His receivers can't get off the line of scrimmage. They don't catch the ball. DJ, hang in there, kid. My boy, TJ, you're a young lad. You're okay now. I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, so defensively, they got a pass rush with JPP and Shaq Barrett. They can snap their end, too, I'll tell you that. But they better do better than the secondary. And Bruce Arians told me he needed a right tackle, so they got to get a right tackle in the draft. I'll tell you what, I'm excited for those lads in Tampa Bay. This is what really do you happening. say, Rich? Three trips to Tampa Bay. This, <laughs> see, this, this, this leads us to our Us Magazine moment. Who wore it better? Let's see it. Uh, there we go. Okay, who wore it better? Charlie was. <laughs> Two Charlies. They spell differently, uh, but uh, same similar hat. Love you, Charlie Castley. You hang in there, man. That's the man. Yes, sir, my boy. I had a better accent than Charles did. And I still can't believe uh, Daniel Jeremiah's got several photographs of him on television. <laughs> None of them, I don't think, with me in it. It's okay. It's okay, <laughs> Daniel. Well, I'll just get you one. Right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the, on. The, uh, Am I in that one? Uh, the aftermath, Rich. If you ever want to fill in on the aftermath, <laughs> that's, uh, that's what that's what got. I didn't know it was only that. aftermath photographs right there. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Michael Irvin. Uh, as it looks like, again, we are now nearing the reporting of barring unforeseen. A new Buccaneer, Tom Brady.
Wow. I've never had Burger King nuggets before. It's a lot better than I expected. And the best part is, they're eight for only one buck. What? These are good. It's crispy and it's golden. When you like see an ad like that, you don't expect them to taste this good. Yup, eight delicious nuggets for just one dollar. Your way, way better. If I built a van, it would do more than haul. If I built a van, it would carry my entire business. I'd make it available in dozens. Make up thousands of configurations. I would keep an eye on my fleet. Ann and I out for danger with active brake assist. If I build a van, I'd make it available in diesel and gas. Introducing the all-new Sprinter, starting at 33790 Mercedes-Benz. Vans. Born to run. I just love hitting the open road and telling people that Liberty Mutual customizes your insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Enterprise Car Sales has access to over half a million pre-owned vehicles, most with tech features like blind spot detection, backup camera, <gasps> because you never know what might be behind you. Does the sloth come standard? Looking to buy? Enterprise makes it easy. When I started Cobra Kai, the lack of control over my business made me a little intense. But now QuickBooks helps me get paid, manage cash flow, and run payroll. And now I'm back on top with Koala Kai. Save over 40 hours a month with Intuit QuickBooks. We've all been here before. The conference room, the speakerphone, the missing files. Not in the room, then you're not in the know. Well, this has been nice, but can we not? Microsoft Teams invites everyone you work with to work together. Be seen, be heard, be there when you're not. Share your files and your opinion, and maybe even a happy little fruit guy. When you're ready to unleash the power of your team, open Teams. It's only human to care for those we love and also help light their way. It's why last year, Chevron invested over $10 billion to bring affordable, reliable, ever cleaner energy to America. Tomorrow, free agency frenzy continues. He's in for the touchdown. Boom! And NFL Network is there, reporting on live breaking news. He can bring that magic with him. League-wide rumors. This could be a key, key addition. And every blockbuster deal. This guy's a game record. He's a winner. Oh, my goodness. That's big time there. Free agency frenzy, only on NFL Network. So Jim Prater tweeted out first that the Chargers believed they were out of the running because Brady, um, barring any unforeseen change by the quarterback, they're out of the running. And uh, Ian Rapport putting 30, two, uh, two and two together. Um, only known team to make an offer is Tampa for Tom Brady. Michael Irvin. Sure looks wow. like if we if we if if we had uh, if we had that magic eight ball and we shook it up and it it would be all signs point to yes and the yes is Tom Brady uh, as a Buccaneer. Your thoughts? Hey, TB to TB, it, it, it sounds very interesting. And and you know, Rich, you, you talked about it yesterday. You imagine him marrying up with uh, Bruce Arians and, and and the way that Bruce Arians approach, handle, talk with. His team, you know, he's one of the guys. And I was watching the show earlier when you when I saw uh, uh, the, the jersey that Tom Brady had signed to Legarrette Blunt, and and you know, and I thought, wow, that's what that's how great Tom Tom Brady is. Tom Brady, he, he he's your friend no matter who you are, no matter what walk of life you came from. He connects with everybody. Legarrette Blunt feels like, hey. We're brothers forever. He's so proud of that jersey. He's holding it up. He'll go down. He'll win that locker room. And this is going to be a great, great thing to watch. Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. TB in TB. That's going to be a great year. And and you want to talk about a guy who, who's looking for weaponry on the outside. I mean, Godwin and Evans, uh, first pair of Pro Bowl teammates at the wide receiver spot since Anquan and Larry Fitzgerald of the late aughts, Irv. I mean, he's... 
And then Arians tell him just go push it. I mean, man, that's no, gonna please, be tell him to play his game. His game is the short passing game. Now, when you suck up, he suckers you and run right by you. He can get back to some of the things they were doing in 07 when he had uh, Randy Moss on the outside because Mike Evans is a big target right. outside. Look at the diversity in the receiving core, too. Mike Evans is a big guy, and, and, and then you have Godwin, the guy, the, the smaller guy that can run all over the football field mm -hmm. and, and, and great speed. I love, I just love it. I can't wait to see it together. Mash that together with Bruce Arians. I know it's legendary how we have watched Tom Brady and Bill Belichick put a game plan together. Offense and de a defensive guy putting a game plan together. Now it's going to be two offensive guys, and I guarantee you some new offense that we've never seen Tom Brady run will come out of it. All right, Irv, we'll see you tomorrow on uh, Free Agency Frenzy when the new league year opens up and all this becomes official. Uh, you take care of yourself. NFL Total Access coming up with three more live hours of free agency coverage right here on NFL Network. Is that Lindsey Rhodes getting ready to uh, host the program? Uh, we're going to send things over for a three-hour edition of the program. And during that three hours, perhaps Tom Brady will become a Buccaneer. Oh, my word. It's all popping. We'll enjoy NFL Total Access coming up next. Tom pumps, he throws down the middle for Gronkowski, somehow makes the catch! Unbelievable. Oh. How the f*** did you catch that? Quick throw, and it's good! Intercepted! <laughs> we did it, John! We did it! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to NFL Total Access presented by Nike. Scott Hansen here on a monumental day in NFL history. The Brady Belichick Patriots dynasty, one of the greatest in the history of sports, is over. Tom Brady said goodbye to New England in a lengthy social media post early this morning. He will play somewhere else in 2020. Last night, Brady met with team owner Bob Kraft. Then this morning at 8.44 a.m. Boston time, a lengthy social media post that made it official. Brady thanked his teammates, his coaches, fans, Bill Belichick, Bob Kraft, the entire Patriots organization, and then said, quote, my football journey will take place elsewhere. And with breaking news here at 7.01 Eastern, the elsewhere is coming into focus. We are joined now by NFL media insider Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofolo. Ian, to you first, what are the options or option for Tom Brady at this minute? My understanding is that former Patriots quarterback Tom Brady has an agreement in principle to join the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as their new quarterback. And it has looked like all day it was going in this direction. The Bucs have been very quietly confident. Anytime you talk to anyone in the building, it was almost like they didn't want to jinx it because it was clear that Tom Brady wanted it, uh, wanted to be the one to announce it. In the end, it ends up being Jim Trotter, our colleague, who notes that the Chargers are out, which means the Bucs, the only other known team to make an offer, are in. And now Bruce Aarons, who was so clear at the scouting combine that he wanted to go after Tom Brady. Tampering or not, Bruce Arians lives by different rules. He doesn't care. And now it looks like Tom Brady is going to be throwing to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and a ton of other weapons for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Just, just a massive day in Tampa. An incredibly huge day, Ian. You nailed it. Uh, and, and this actually looked like it was leaning this way earlier in the day. Uh, somebody Man. said no announcement from Brady today. That was like a report that was out there earlier in the day. And then all of a sudden we started to hear this Bucks chatter hit somebody who said, so much for no announcement today. And I said, what? And all of a sudden everything kind of went undercover. So we got the sense that it was trending toward the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I go back to a conversation I had with someone close to Brady about a month ago. I said, come on. Is Brady really going to go play for the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I threw that out there, and the person shot me this look to say, well, the Buccaneers 
have a lot more going on on the offensive side of the football right now than the New England Patriots do. And that was a huge factor for Tom Brady as well. There are other factors involved, such as being on the East Coast, coast as Jim Trotter mentioned, with L.A. Uh, being on the opposite side of the country. This a much much easier uh, location for Brady and his family to swallow, being that they're East Coast people here. So, Brady, uh, every we are just an announcement away. That, I mean, that's, that's all we're waiting for at this point. We're waiting for Tom Brady, who announced his time at the, for the Patriots was over earlier today, to announce that he's officially going to the bucket. I got good news, gentlemen. We're on for the next three hours here live on NFL Network. So the biggest story in the entire sports world, the biggest story of the entire NFL offseason is coming to shape uh, in real time here. In fact, let's back up about maybe 20 minutes ago, maybe a half hour ago, NFL media's Jim Trotter put out a tweet saying, I've been saying for two days, I believe the Chargers are the best fit for Brady, and I still believe that. But I'm told the Brady camp has led the Chargers to believe he is going to stay back east because of family considerations. And then Trotter put out another tweet just a short time ago saying that the, the Chargers believe they were out of it. They made an offer to Brady uh, reportedly, and then they feel like uh, it wasn't a fit for Tom Brady because of Tom's family uh, situation. He has a uh, son from a previous relationship, and that son lives in the New York area, I believe, so East Coast being the attractive side for him. What, what a half hour we have seen here, gentlemen. Ian, your thoughts? Yeah, and Trotter's exactly right. You know, we talk a lot in the NFL world about scheme and coaches and what kind of personnel. And look, I think both teams have really good offensive personnel. I think that's obvious. From what I understand... Family and being on the East Coast in the same time zone with, with Tom Brady and his family, that was something that was important to him, much more so than scheme or what he'd be running or, or anything like that. That is one reason why, even though the Chargers were in it and they certainly did make a run at him, uh, they never quite felt confident. Whereas the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I mean, I was hearing early this morning that people inside the building were very quietly saying, we think we got him. They knew, Mike, that this was something that... that, that uh, they could put together, and the fact that they have uh, Bruce Arians there, who, again, is one of the foremost characters in the NFL right now, also a pretty decent offensive coach. They have Byron Leftwich, one of the up-and-coming offensive coordinators in the NFL. Uh, there is a lot there. Uh, there's a lot there for, for the Bucks and for Tom Brady. Yeah, this is the an folks off. inside the, Go ahead, the Bucks building were also getting really nervous, Scott. Uh, they, they didn't want you to talk about it. They didn't want you to say anything. They didn't want to acknowledge it. And, and they started to get a little bit antsy. The more and more this built throughout the day that it was becoming clear that uh, Brady was going to be a buck, they were pushing back on that one, saying nothing is done. I don't know what you guys are talking about. We don't have the agreement. But they knew the way that this was trending. And I, I'll also uh, go back to something that Ian was talking about, about the coaching staff and Bruce Arians. Uh, one person close to Brady told me last month when we were having a conversation as, as Brady started to get ready for his foray into free agency, and they say, he said, I think you guys are underestimating how hard it is to play for Bill, Bill Belichick day in and day out. I said, mm. well, he's done it for 20 years. And they said, well, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just no more. He can't take anymore. He's at a point now where he wants a little bit uh, something different. He's going to get something a lot different. Now, Bruce Arians demands that his guys execute, demands that they practice and play hard. It's not that there's not going to be discipline down in Tampa, but he's going to love you up a lot more than Bill Belichick used to. So I, I, I have to imagine that that was a big factor for Brady uh, on a long list of factors for him. Okay, Ian, we, we are, you can see the graphic on, on the NFL Network right now, expected to sign Tom Brady. How close to a done deal would you be comfortable saying this is, Ian? My understanding is the terms are essentially agreed to. Basic agreement is what I was told. And I think we're really just, Scott, waiting for Tom Brady to uh, go to the Twitter machine or go to his <laughs> uh, very popular and sometimes hilarious Instagram um, and tell us that he is, in fact, uh, going to be a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Maybe he's waiting for his social team to do one of those cartoons where he's in a pirate ship and he's got the hat and he's got the patch. That's really what we're waiting for right now, uh, just to say that Tom Brady is officially a member of the Buccaneers.